not the song. This is she amazing. Did not recognize the song. This is and amazing. And it was a big hit. So I mean, I, I, just, I wasn't in the world. I would I did the recording, but then I was in law. Right. I would go to court every day. So and it's just two different worlds. And I, I want to tell the listeners of The Conduit Show that you're listening to Carol Gonzalez. In case you've just joined the show, my guest uh, calling, calling in from Jamaica is Carol Gonzalez. And I hate to say, you know, Carol Gonzalez who did the song with Budgie Banton because you're so much more than that. Um, I, I definitely want to focus on, you know, the fact that you went into law, you studied, you passed the bar and you became a practicing attorney. But it didn't stop there, did it, Carol? Um, how no, far no. how far up the ladder of law did you go in Jamaica? Because this is pretty awesome. Well, um, to other people it is, but to me it was just a natural progression of things. It wasn't that big a deal. I shouldn't say that, should It's I? a I'm big bad. deal. It's a very big <laughs> deal. As a woman, okay. it's, as a woman right, well, in, in Jamaica. 19, in, 19, <laughs> in 1998, the Chief Justice of Jamaica at the time, Mr. Justice Wolf invited me to preside as a magistrate, a judge, and I accepted. And I did that until 2007 when I left the bench and um, came back to music. Because really, music is what I live to do, is my raison d'etre. It's the reason for my existence. existence. And without it, everything else has seemed like black and white. Since I've come back into music, I'm now living in color again. Um, wow. It, it's the most important thing to me. So, so yes. therefore, I would say that there is a lesson there, Carol, um, to other people, aspiring people, not just in the music industry. What would, you, would be your advice, modeled on your life and your journey? What would be your advice to someone? My advice is whatever you do, try your best and do something that you love, that you want to wake up every morning and do. It's hard doing a job that is just a job. It's not a career. It's not something you love. Again, it's a privilege to find, to be able to find what you love and do it. So if you find it, go ahead and do it. There are obstacles in everything, especially in music, the music industry. It's, it's, there's so many obstacles against women especially. Absolutely. And a against new artists. More established artists are not as encouraging as they used to. In, in former <laughs> times. Mm. So if you can find something that you really love to do, you may not be able to make a lot of money from it um, or gain fame and fortune from it, but if you love to do it, that's, that's the key. If you get up every morning and you want to do this thing and you go do it, you, you stay young and you live and love life. Absolutely. So I'm going to interrupt the conversation because I want to play uh, another one of your tracks here. And uh, it's it didn't... Uh, convert the title of the track so as it starts to play I wonder if you would just announce the track that's playing uh, it's, oh mm -hmm. what's going on here might help if I turn the volume up right mm -hmm. uh, it's very very low <laughs> can you hear it Carol yeah it's called bring it on home it's a cover of Sam Cooke's um, fabulous song bring it on home but um, the volume on this is not so good. I'm not sure if uh, people, uh, listeners in the chat room and the listeners who are listening uh, to The Conduit Show can hear the track. Um, I'm a bit disappointed because I'm not hearing it very clearly. Here we go. Wow, Carol. 
Oh, Carol, Carol, Carol. That is Sharon, awesome. Sharon, Sharon, Sharon. <laughs> and let but me see, tell listen, you. Listen, listen, listen. Wait, hold on. Uh-huh. You see what I was talking about, about loving what you do? Wow. I'm sitting here watching you, and you're, you're the very personification of that. You it, love what you do. I'm telling you. I you know, know <laughs> you can't wait to get to the station every day to start your show, right? Uh, um, yeah, something <laughs> like that. <laughs> But let you're me tell you. You're laughing and you're dancing. That's wonderful. You know what? It's music. Music is in my blood. Especially when I hear good music, I can't keep still. It's like I've got a oh. jig, something inside <laughs> me. I have to just move. Um, I just want you to let to let you know that the um, the listeners in the chat room are really appreciating that track. Uh, one of the listeners, Big Daddy Chris, says this is a beautiful voice, and I actually do agree. Um, yeah, Anmo says she's got Sharon blushing. She got Sharon blushing, but <laughs> I'm telling you that the thank voice. Daddy Chris, thank, thank Big Daddy Chris for me. Yeah, he he can hear you because he's logged on. He's oh. listening, and people are saying the voice is just amazing. This cl- crystal clear clarity. Oh, thank you. Uh, it, I wanted it, to tell you that track that you just played uh-huh. is one of the tracks from my album, The Music in Me. It's titled The Music in the Me. The Music in it Me. Was released in 2007. You know, I'm making a note because I'm going to go look for that CD because I'm an old-fashioned person. I like the CDs. The newfangled thing well, of the MP3 and all that stuff, I'm like, mm. it, it really well, challenges here's the thing, me. Though. Mm-hmm. Here's the thing, though. The, my distribution company, Light Your EMI, mm-hmm. they've distributed the, the album digitally. I'm oh. not sure if you're going to find it. You can find it on iTunes and Amazon. Uh huh. But I'm not sure you're gonna find the hard copy. Are you kidding me? Okay, so I'm gonna have to buy the tunes and then how silly is this? Burn them to a CD. How yeah. w- that would work, right? I like to feel. That's how technology, baby. I like to feel because I'm the one that's got LPs and CDs at my home that I'm saying I'm gonna download them and but I like to feel that you know, like I the I the I what do they call uh, the Kindle? The Kindle. That's not for me. Yeah. I like to feel the paper. I love, I love the vinyl. Yeah. Are you a vinyl junkie I love to too? The scratch of the needle. Yeah. <laughs> that frying. Um, that that track was bringing on home to me. What what made you do that cover version? That's a song that I've loved for years, and I I, I, I used to do it on my shows. Mm-hmm. So when I decided, I was sitting and deciding what cover songs to do, and I really just did songs that I absolutely loved, and that was one of them. I love Sam Cooke. I, I, love, I know every song he ever did. Wow, wow. But I love that one in particular. So okay. I decided to do it. So it was nothing to do with what was going on in your life at the time, a, a, a kind of tribute to a loved one? You know, I like to get into no, your well, business. <laughs> I, well, I'm glad you, I'm glad you, you mentioned that. Um, I'm, I've been married since 1980. Congratulations. Beautiful, sweetest, loveliest, good-looking man you ever met. And so everything that I do, I do for him. Oh. Really. Especially oh. musically. Isn't There's that one track on the album that was not done for him. It was done to address um, domestic violence, violence against women. Uh-huh. As, as a judge, I used to see that quite a lot. Right. And it, it really bothered me. It, it, I had a hard time dealing with people who would harm children and women and young girls. And this song is called How Come, How Long. That was the featured single of the album. And it dealt with that idea of violence against women. It was originally done by um, Stevie Wonder and the Babyface. Right. And, and let me see Let me see if I can find it. Um, it was in a format. Uh, let me see if I can download it right now and uh, if it will play. Um, it wasn't the track I was uh, going to play. But since you bring up... Um, that issue which is a very very serious issue and uh, which plagues many many communities Um, and it's something that I'm glad you're addressing because it's a topic uh, like child abuse that seems to be swept under the carpet people know it's happening but for whatever reason they don't want to get involved and I'm not sure why this uh, is not cooperating with me hmm let's see the other thing too is um, to, to give the people involved, the children and the women involved, who are the subjects of the violence, to give them strength and courage to stand up. Because sometimes if you just stand up and say, no, enough, no more, mm. the person would stop. 
but so many or times... Or not, at least leave, leave the environment. But mm. sometimes they stay until they die. Okay, we're actually, really we're actually playing How Come, How Long uh, by Carol Gonzalez, who is my in-studio, well, sorry, my telephone guest right now. And uh, let's play this one, shall we, Carol? Oh, I am so sorry. I'm playing the wrong track. But you know what? Um, nothing is coincidental. We're going to let this one play. This is. I was thinking, I'm listening to it. I'm like, wait a second. This is spoiled. And this is a cover version, yes? Yeah. Okay, let this one play and then we'll go back to how long. Come, you see, it, it rectified itself. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, nothing is coincidence. It's playing now. Right. How come, how long? goodness all I can say is wow and uh, trust me people this is not lip service you know Sharon P goes off when she hears great music and Carol Gonzalez wow yes, that's Carol. all I can say I want to tell you that you know uh, to show you that it's not me people in the chat room are saying it's great to tune in to one of Jamaica's greatest daughters and that's Carol Gonzalez uh, you have wow what can I say I I'm not sure if it's your time that you spent in the US where you were trained uh, by the empresario but you have this uh, what's the word I'm looking for your interpretation and I'm looking at a quote that you said do you, do you remember what the quote is it, it starts off when I interpret a song it is with oh, let me let I, me just I, read I, it I, I don't yeah I have <laughs> lots of people I love lots let, of entertainers and singers that I love but I don't um, imitate anybody it's my own voice 
from my heart. Let me just, I think Carol is being a bit modest here, but um, there's a statement here that I want to read from her.